All right, what's up, guys? I haven't uploaded coaching in forever, but uh, oh, Boomy's in the background. Turn that off. Okay, I haven't uploaded coaching in forever. Uh, so that's what we're doing today. I'm coaching Ghost. If you don't know who Ghost is, he's a pretty high ranking player, like 2300 end of the season. So sorry about the noise for a second. Bear with me. Okay, so sorry about that. Uh, he's a pretty high ranking player. If you don't know him, uh, he's in my streams often. He's a mod in my chat and stuff. So, uh. We're gonna get him some coaching today. Make him get him to the next level of play. I uh, call. It. All right, what's up? Uh, so like I said, we're just gonna go straight into it. We're gonna open with the first one you sent me. Oh, well, you didn't send me them in any order, but I have the top one here, and that's the one I'm gonna use first. So. For sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when I was queuing to you, you played uh, Bodvar, and I'm pretty sure you've always played like Hammer, so you're playing Bodvar and Nash right now? Yeah. Those are my two main picks for now. Alright. Okay. And you can hit every combo on Hammer, so there's not really any problem with that. And then. Let's just see what it looks like in game. So this opening looks really blank, and what I mean by that is like you go in and then you turn. But mm -hmm. why'd you rush in so fast just to turn? It makes it so like by the time like if you kept going, you would meet at the same point, right? Maybe you'd both be in the center, but you turn so he keeps going and he has advantage on you to hit you, and then he gets the weapon. Uh, if you don't want to go in as hard as he does, that's fine. But it's the point where you turn that messes you up. You turn at a point where it's like, okay, I should have already been contesting it, right? I don't have the time to now uh, turn around because now I'm just, like, fucking myself. But uh, you kind of get your trade back when he makes a mistake, so that's good. These jumps right here seem kind of blank. The they're, It's a double jump really fast into a move, but it seems like you really force that move out because he hasn't really done anything. So I don't see why you feel the need to jump so high up with him on the ground still and then when he finally moves back you just kinda throw out a move and somewhat misposition it considering that uh, you can really see how long it is for this to hit like it's a lot of time that punish was really bad you could have put space this way better yeah. see there it is again with like they're on the ground not really much is happening I'm gonna double jump and stare them. Uh, and I get it. You're trying to, you're going in with the stare and the plan is for it to like hit them because they have nowhere else to go, right? Like you're saying, okay, this guy's at the edge of the map, but they do have somewhere else to go. They The hitbox is only gonna be like here and they can come in to you here and you don't have a hitbox there, right? So for mm -hmm. something like this, and you could have done it both times now, uh, you're gonna notice that you're better off even uh, when you do it like here you'll realize you're better off just falling nearing, uh, like right here. Because what, you, what you're trying to do anyway with this air is either hit them here or push them off the map, right? Mm -hmm. Those are your two goals. Uh, if you nair around this area, you spear nair, right? They're going to either back up because they have to, because now they can't come in. This guy's coming to you twice because... Uh, because you did that stare, right? Uh, he's came, he, he moves into you two times, and if you did nair, he would still have to back away, but now he can't even move to you. You have to pick moves that limit the most options and cover the most things they can do, because uh, just throwing out a move that isn't limiting them is limiting yourself, right? Because they okay. can still do whatever they want. So the same thing happens here. Uh, this air is rushed again. He's not in, in range. You don't really wake up. You don't really push on with attacks like this. You let them uh, waste their time in range or just hover around, and then you can go for it. But if they're just not in range, you're just whiffing. So the side light there is good. Another air. Yeah, same thing. You just can't force with these airs. They're just gonna move into you every single time. It's really bad. Side light punish. You didn't really do much here. Uh, 
seems like you were like thinking about like look at how long he sat still before you're probably thinking about what to do. He's already yeah. dodged up. At that point, you should react to it. You should uh, do jump recovery him or whatever you want to do. But you waited a very long time to just do that. So a waste of your time. Same thing there, but it worked because uh, he was throwing a weapon. So and light is good. You should look into doing there a lot more. Uh, I feel like most spear players can. Just look into doing there. Like right here, you go for this recovery. Uh, Nair would have done the same thing and actually hit him. So that move is really good. See, this this is the Sarah that you actually want. And you probably would have done it anyway, but look at this one. This one actually punishes him going for the side light, right? So he's in recovery yeah. and this hits. A lot of the times you were going for those Sarahs, he was free to just move out the way of them. Uh, if you're going to try to punish people that are able to just move freely, it's never really going to hit them, right? The stair uh, is fine, but you don't really... After the stair hits, you don't really make a decision. You just land and then move away and then back in, right? Uh, he wakes up with this, which is not the best option for him. But the only reason it hits you is because after you hit the dare, you just kind of land with no direction. You're not really going anywhere. Uh, you don't back up to give him space. And you don't move into him to pressure him. You just stay like in the same spot, so he just walks up and throws that move. So this recovery is really strange because of how you want to play a hammer versus an arm. Uh, for the most part, you just want to be on the ground because you're going to prioritize everything they can do, right? You don't really need to contest it in the air. Uh, this guy walking up to you like this is literally just like, what's he? what can he do to you, right? You have the mm -hmm. hammer in your hand. What can he do to you? Why are you jumping up and trying to get away from him? Uh, and I get it, he has the the frames of recovery, but you don't have to go this high. You commit it a lot into going that high. In reality, you just stay on the ground, he walks up to you, he throws the move out, and you punish it. Uh, that's fine. That being said, this side light is also kind of... Eh, it could have been worse, and you get punished for it, but I don't know. I, don't, I feel like throwing out the side light here was kind of greedy. The thing with an arm is that you can't just throw out moves, and I'm pretty sure you know that. You see how that works, right? Uh, yeah. If you throw out moves, they're just going to hit you in between the frames of them because their moves start up instantly. What you really are interested in doing it most of the time is just really just nothing. Or like you walk up to them to push them back, to scare them. If you throw out a move and it's a whiff, you're going to get punished every single time. It's not really worth it. Like here again, uh, he's trying to punish you for whiffing moves. He never actually puts anything out, so you never, you never get hit. But right here, right, he could have narrowed you right here. Uh, mm -hmm. Just put out moves. So these are, for the most part, fine, and they're, uh, you could do it a bit further back for no, uh, just because it would cover the same exact thing, but... Yeah, it might just be higher right there, but I guess yeah. it's just a little longer. Uh, if you're gonna do it like this too, you should stay like this far back, this way you can also put out end lights and side lights and be safe, because uh, putting out those three moves will make it really hard for him to get back on, putting out down light into down light over and over again will at one point give him the gap he needs, like this is the frame, this is the frame, this is the frame, right? So as you do it like for the third time, he's probably counting how much time he has in between to punish it, and he finally goes in for the punish on the third one. Uh, if you were mixing it up with end lights and side lights rather than just doing the down lights, the frame in which he can punish changes each time, right? The hitboxes mm -hmm. change, the timing change. So you, you don't want to give him time to condition what he's going to do. Okay, uh, so this seems like a very like flowcharty thing, where it's like, okay, I stomp and I miss the stomp, so I'm gonna dare. You can very much tell that there's no reason for a dare to come out here. Yeah. Right. Uh, and I get it, it's like a habit. You do downlight or you miss a move, and then you dare, because if they're on the ground, uh, and they move in to punish you, the dare will hit them. The thing is, he's just not on the ground here. You can see that. You have to be able to switch up what you're going to do in times like this, right? There's no reason for you to go for the stair here. This is a jump nair, this is a jump recovery, whatever you want really, because he's above you. But a jump there while he's above you is just not gonna hit him. 
That's good damage for you. At this point, uh, you just really just looking for damage. Stuff like that is always going to be better for you. You've already gotten the lead you need. And you lose a stock here, and obviously you lose the second stock next, which really doesn't make sense, right? So really, this edgeguard was way too fast for hammer. See, that's there, and then you jump instantly. If you're going to stare like that, you need to just recover instantly. So that way, they're because they're right, they're right above you, right? You can't just go for another jump, or else you're just gonna get hit. Same thing with sword or any weapon that would be above you here. You have to wake up with the recovery. But yeah, the problem with this game, it looks like mainly, is uh, this stock here and how you lose it so fast. Uh, so the ally hits you and he doesn't follow it up. And realistically, all you're looking for is one hit. And a lot of the times when people play, you're jumping a lot for no reason. But a lot of the times when people play, uh, that one hit is really uh, hard to get because you start doing stuff like that, right? And you really don't need to. Uh, you have a seven force weapon, so fishing is not really going to make any sense for you. So he punishes this and then you dodge down. I would recommend you don't dodge down ever. I dodge down too, it's just a bad habit, but dodging down is really bad. If you dodge up, there's not much they can do besides go for juggles, but you have all your jumps of it available, so you're gonna be able to get out of that. And yeah, so you can really see that was also not good, because if you dodge it up, you could fly made it back the way he played it. But you can really see what the difference is and what goes wrong in this stock, right? Like, even from the start, what's happening? You get your weapon, and then you sare nothing, right? The sare was just literally at nothing. It's not good. Uh, you're allowed to give yourself that time to pick up your weapon, land, and think about what moves are going to kill him and where you need to be to land those moves, not just throw out a move instantly. It doesn't make sense. You get hit there, and that hit's fine, right? And then you fall back into him. After you get hit, you dodge, you jump, and then you move back into him without any... Spear can't do anything here, against, not against Hammer, right? You, you play right. Hammer, so you know Hammer's going to hit here. You know that there's nothing you can really do on Spear to contest this area, so why would you move into it? You have to think about stuff like that when you get hit. After you get hit, you want to move away to somewhere that's useful for you, not somewhere that you can't do anything. This is... Uh, this thing is good, and throwing out is not, not bad by any means, but... Look at how much room he has to react to your approach, right? When you finally mm -hmm. get close enough, he's already jumping just because he knows you're coming towards him, not even because uh, you're throwing out the SIG, right? The SIG is good, but you're so far that he's going to move out the way. And then you end up right. jump, dodging down, which leads to the next thing. And uh, you greed your recovery. So you just kind of go for the side SIG all or nothing, and you die because of it. It's not the end of the world, because uh, you, you got him to kill percent beforehand. You don't need to take damage like that. It's not helping you from a deficit but the game is even on your last talk and it really just didn't need to be and uh, a lot of the times when you have leads like that you just need to keep it going right you can't afford to just have it end up being even again punish the nair is good side light mm. the, this mm -hmm. nair yeah, yeah. this nair doesn't really do anything especially since uh, you can see that he's landing uh, the thing with nair is like okay when they're really high up you want to use it but I feel like when they're just hovering or like on the same height of you, it's better to always just use it falling, right? It doesn't really need to do much with it. But there was really good. And then you punch that. You can go for the edge guard here. Uh, this edge guard, again, you can see, you can react to stuff like this. Like you can see him fast falling already. You can see where, where he wants to go. If he wanted to recover high, he would have kept jumping right here, right? So you mm. should you should see that he's not jumping, and then you go low with him. You have time. You need to give yourself the time. So I'm sorry. Again, go off for the edge guard here. This time you choose not to, even though there is only one direction for him to go from how low he is. He can only go diagonally up. Uh, this should have been an edge guard by you. Yeah, these nares are fine. A lot of heads coming out, I uh, feel like a lot of them are, most of them are fine, but when it, some of them like this end stick don't really do anything, so it's kind of limiting how you could move. He moves into it for no reason though, so you end up getting the hit off, which is fine for you. Uh, right here, you don't really want to just stand still, you're giving him a lot of room, and it's because you don't want to edge guard him, yeah that's fine. But if you, you don't want to edge guard him, then give him even more room to just come back on, right? Don't bait him. 
because uh, now you're just jumping up and down and he walks up and he throws out a move and you don't react to it you should have reacted to it anyway you have time here like you can you can move out of this but yeah the general idea is if you're going edge guard you go edge guard and if you're not you give him the room that was really bad from both of you that was like scary bad so after you get hit by this uh you dodge back to the wall and then he does this you dodge back to the wall and then you jump off but you don't actually go up back up to the map when you jump off i don't understand why you would jump off the wall and then go back directly to the same spot uh mainly because you have everything you need to contest the stage and you have so much room when he does this right this is you getting off the wall uh by the time he's going to jump anywhere around this area you should be going up if you or if you were worried that he was going to stare here or do something up here you would have never jumped off the wall this way because you are aiming to go high here and then you immediately switch your train of thought to just like go straight down uh it makes stuff like this happen this could have been really bad it wasn't you got out but you can see why that's a that's a problem you off stage especially you need to be sure what you are going to do right you cannot just yeah. go uh, okay, I'm gonna get off, but actually, just kidding, I'm gonna go back on. It's really bad. It's uh, It just makes you mess up. It makes you fall for stuff like this. And luckily, you made it out here, just barely. This game was way closer than it should have been. It wasn't even, like, last hit for you, right? But it was still this much of a lead turned into what? what for what, right? So, yeah. we already talked about what went wrong in this talk. You get to see it again whenever. But, uh... It's just stuff like that. Uh, your first stock had a couple mistakes in it, but for the most part, it was in control, right? We already talked about the nares that you could be using. Uh, on Spear in general, you can use a lot more nares just because the move does so much. And as you look at it, it's really just the stairs you're putting out are the only thing that really hurt you. And they don't even hurt you because he doesn't punish both of them, but it's like you're putting out these moves and they're not really doing much for you, so why, why are they coming out? You have to think about the moves you put out, and they have to be out for a reason. Like on Hammer, a lot of the moves you're going to throw out aren't even going to hit, but they should be coming out for an actual reason, not just because you wanted to put a move out. Okay, so this move, this game looks like it takes about the same time. Again, Skui, so... Those two side lights were good. I will say that this third, this Hammer side light is just very badly misspaced. Uh... And his downline is misspaced too, but he's going to be free before you are just because of the weapons. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's so a that's a that's just a mistake, right? It doesn't really matter, there's no point looking at it, but just realize that that's twenty damage you just missed out on, right? So it matters, you can't make mistakes like that. Uh, another misspace, you can't Yeah. Like these are hits that you have and you're just misspacing them. Each time you do it, you're missing some damage now. So that's like what, forty damage. All right, so what was this stock, right? Uh, you're, it's not that bad because this stock doesn't last too long from him. It ends up pretty evenly, but what was this stock? So this stock happens pretty fast, uh, and any stock that happens in 30 seconds is a bad stock. It doesn't matter who it's from. Uh, even if you think someone ha played a good stock, they gimped you in 30 seconds, they played it well. No, you probably just played it bad. You probably made more mistakes than they did good things. Uh, yeah. No stock should ever happen that fast, right? So, looking at what went wrong this stock, boom, that's damage you just missed. He could have ended up off stage, and then that's pressure you missed there. Then what happens next? And that was before the side light you also missed, right? You do a straightforward recovery here. It doesn't really do anything for you. He just punishes it. Okay, another miss space. He punishes that, punishes your dodge, and takes you all the way off. You get punished for recovering. So... It's a mix of another like misspace here. You could have punished this if you really need wanted to slow and like, and then you got punished for that. So it's a mix of you've misspaced about three moves or four, right? Yeah. And you've dodged incorrectly against Scythe, so you get punished hard for it. Yo, Boomy, thank you. So now you those are those are the two things that went wrong greatly in in that stock. You cannot afford to misspace stuff, cause when when I say okay, you this was a mistake. You missed spaces. It was an accident. You lost twenty damage for that, right? That's fine. Yeah. That's twenty damage. Okay. When you do it four times, that is eighty damage, right? That is almost half a stock 
of just miss inputs or uh, slightly off or oh it, my bad I I'll fit I'll hit it next time right yes you you will hit it next time but when you miss it four times that is the reason this stock is not even right you can't do that you can't just go okay that's one right that's 20 damage at the beginning that's 20 more damage 17 but you get the point about 20 right that's 20 the next down light Sarah's 20 the next side light you miss by an inch is 20 and then recoveries like this where you don't really do anything you're not really forcing your way back on you so you just jump and then you jump into a move you didn't really dodge or anything you just kind of jumped into a move stuff like that that's 20 that and that that's not that's not an impossible hit is it you just have no. to get a bit more closer to him before you put it because this this is a good side light this is a good side light for you this is what you want to do with hammer none of his moves are going to interrupt you except down light which he has to time perfectly you have ample room and time to move to here and side light him if he doesn't want to eat the side light he has to jump off stage that's good for you so missing it by an inch or doing it this early is not good for you that's stuff you're now you're missing a lot of damage right you've missed damage like three times and not to mention that the hits could be even more damage because when you hit someone you can follow it up you can pressure them you can do whatever you want you're in advantage state but not getting the hits all right now you now you're not just missing 20 damage anymore right now you're missing 20 damage and whatever else you could have gotten right hmm. and then to throw it on because you miss that by an inch you get punished like this you make a bad dodge okay sometimes people make bad dodges and this is where it leads to right stuff like that is is why stocks like this happen you cannot keep trying to force your way through without that without positioning that is good for you you have to actually land the move another move you didn't land that could have just been landed it could have been a free hit right yeah so the side light is good and then you read the dodge uh i feel like you need to take advantage of people who are wasting their jumps a lot harder and you have everything you need to do it like right here okay you he has no dodge now you should have reset on the platform instead of the ground right mainly because now he's gonna jump again just to get up and he's gonna jump again and now he has no jumps and you i'm not saying you downlight this because downlighting this would probably clash with the dare and that's actually kind of hard right but you see he's gonna come down with no judges you could have been on the platform and recovered him on the second jump if you wanted but uh, he finally does land with no dodges, and you whiff your side light. The thing is, you don't have to whiff your side light, right? He has no dodge, and he has no jumps. He has to hit something. If he, and you, all you have to do is react to that. So, your character, as it's like this, don't do anything. If he yeah. doesn't dare here, right? If he just lands on this platform, because the only reason he goes through the platform is because he dares. Okay. If he doesn't dare, he's going to land on it. You downlight it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He doesn't. He does this there, and he goes through it. Then you side light it. A lot of Brawlhalla, especially at this point, at this level, is reacting and being able to make the correct reactions to stuff. You cannot do things preemptively or just because you think they're going to work. It's bad. If you just do something because, of, oh, this might, this might hit is not good. You don't rush yourself. Rushing yourself is how you lose games. Like, right there, you could have punished that landing, right? You would have gotten the damage you needed, but instead you went too early, you forced your way through, and then you got hit. Punish is good there, and then side light to punish that. And then side light, and then recover. Yeah. So, the game has stayed pretty e even. Not too bad for you, you just need one hit to even it up. And you only got hit, like, once that stock, so it's not the end of the world even though you had a pretty bad first stock. And like... So this dare, really here, is not that good. Like, I don't really understand uh, what it's supposed to do or where it is, uh, mainly because hammer dare doesn't work this way, right? And I would recommend you never use hammer dare like this, because it's just not what that move does. Uh, mm -hmm. This is like a sword dare or a dare at an angle, but hammer dare doesn't do that. Most of the time you want to use hammer dare will never really be to hit someone directly below you. It'll be to hit someone that you plan to scoop up or to hit at that angle where the dare hits. Uh, going straight down with it is really, really bad because it is very easily punished, especially like this, if he could hit the true combo. 
So side light there uh, is the right option, but you don't give yourself enough impulse, so you don't dash in with it. Okay. So that was not bad, right? This stuff like this happens, and you have to. Uh, you get scared to the point where you have to give up the stage, and that's fine. Uh, this is giving up the stage here is not a terrible thing. You just have to get your way back on without taking too much damage for it. And he's putting on a lot of moves, and you're doing a good job of finding the room where you can punish it and actually getting the punish out. There was solid, and it stops there. So, and that that's all that really matters, right? Being able to, if someone is putting out that many moves, whether it looks good or not, being able to find the room to punish is all that matters. Uh, and you do that pretty well here. Uh, he's putting out a bunch of moves back to back, and every single time a move comes out, you see the ones you can punish, you see the ones you can't. You take the ones you can. He's not hitting you with any of the moves, so no matter, he's putting out more moves and hitting none of them. That's fine. That's good for you. It doesn't matter how many moves he puts out, he doesn't get anything for hitting them. I mean, for putting them out, because you're not letting them hit you. He's there, punishes that, which is fine. I will say that a lot of some of the moves are still pointless. Like right here, uh, this Ensig really does do nothing, especially how far he is. And he could have punished it if he used his move selection better, and you wouldn't have gotten the kill there. Instead, you would have gotten hit. But so you still want to look at moves like that, even though he's doing bad moves, doesn't mean you just kind of feed into him like that. It's really bad for you. Okay, so this side light, I will say that is a greed side light, uh, mainly because you can already see that your time to punish this is over. Yeah. Okay. So side light, down light, dodge up, and he kind of just reads what you want to do. I will say that uh, dodging up against this weapon in that scenario is bad. Mainly because, uh, let's look at what these N-Sigs are, right? You know what Fate N-Sig looks like. You know what Thor N-Sig looks like. You know what, uh, uh, Dusk N-Sig looks like, right? Yeah. They all hit that dodge. And to make it worse, recovery also hits there. So in general, dodging up is not good. Uh, also, you get the downline, and then if he came up here, he could have done Nair, right? And then done Nair, like, twice because of the no force, right? It in like just in general that dodge is not good. You that's fine there that that happened. Uh, maybe if you jumped a lot faster you could have gone out, but I don't know. It doesn't really matter. You shouldn't do that dodge against sword. Okay, so that stock played out very bad for you. Uh, you had a big lead, but it ended up not going well, right? So now putting on moves like this, this is not how you use an arm. Because we've already gone over. You want to punish them for putting out moves, not put out three moves back to back, right? Yeah. So he punishes that, and you get the weapon. You miss your side light on that. A lot of times you can just side light stuff. And now you're trying to wake up, which is just not very smart. So he's off stage here, and he's going to fight his way back on and barely hit you. Mainly because you kind of nared nothing here. So. Okay, you want to stop dodging in, obviously, that's never good. And yeah, so, this is kind of like, really hard to see, right? It's like, okay, what what's going wrong here? You're kind of just forcing your options on yourself, right? Uh, this, this looks like a stomp you would have done, whether he moved into you or not. Realistically, he has no reason to move into you here. Which is why you would never actually want to do this stomp. You would actually just let him land and then stomp him. Because you still know he has his dodge left. You haven't taken that. So either you're going to go into him or you're going to let him land. Uh, I would say that he just did this pretty well. He played you pretty good here. The thing is, after that, you kind of you just straight up stare nothing, right? And yeah. that stuff like that is where it's like what are, you're forcing really hard. Like super hard. Because even in the air, this isn't hitting. He has to move forward like half the stage and then jump to get hit by that okay there punish and then he dodges in uh you can punish dodges better than this mainly because the timing has to be good for them you're punishing on the dodge 
when you can do you can do the stomp has eight startup frames. You can do the stomp when he actually has dodged and landed next to you. That should have been a sair. See again with these really high, really out of place sairs where it's just like okay, just jump sair right. And I will say that uh, as a person that really like plays hammer too. I like rarely ever use the Sair because the Sair is probably like the worst move to use for options like that. Uh, don't yeah. get me wrong, the Sair is fine, and when you can punish something with Sair, you go for the punish. But a lot of the times, if you're going to be playing to get into people, Sair is not the move you want to use for it. Uh, you just want to do stuff like this the entire time, where you move into them with downlight, side light, and uh, and uh, Nair a lot of the times, falling Nair. The thing with Hammer is not about the Sair at all, really. It Half of the game on Hammer is played on the ground, because in the air, Hammer doesn't really have anything to do. It doesn't have uh, the it doesn't have an angle to play like most of the dares do. You, don't, you go in with sword on a, a diagonal dare, and that's fine. Hammer can't do that, so you go in with a diagonal falling air. Uh, a lot of the times you're going for a Sair, if you substitute it with Nair, it hits the same way you want to hit and you don't get punished as hard for it, or you're in a better spot for it. Uh, this was very obvious that he had to dodge in, so you should nair backwards, or higher up so it actually hits, and that kills you. So yeah, this stock seemed really forced, uh, even from the start, you could tell that you were dodging in a lot and trying to put out moves where they didn't go, like that, it was a wake up nair if you can see it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, right here, you just, you just for some reason don't dodge, okay. That's one thing you need to dodge, and then here and you still have your dodge instead of using it. You wake up, you finally dodge here, and it doesn't really do anything. Uh, this is way too much respect, right? You've done the nair. Uh, the nair was nothing again, and it's kind of the reason you can't punish this. Because if you could, you would have just highlighted them if you had the frames for it. You don't have it because you naired, and now you land, but you also land too far away, right? He gives up stage anyway, but. You're not really doing anything. Again, with that there, it's like, what is the goal of the moves I'm putting out? You have to think about that when you put the moves out. What is the what is the move supposed to do? What is it aimed to hit? Right? Like, if I ask you, what is this snare going to do? This snare that you're about to do. Would you, if you look at the situation right now, is snare the move you want to put out? Nah. Yeah. So when you do put it out, what is it supposed to do? What is this for? Right. Why? Why did it come out? It just shouldn't. Have. It doesn't make sense for it to be out. Like I said, that was not terrible, but you could react a bit better that way. You do it actually when he has nothing rather than that. That, like I said, uh, try to react to the dodge ending rather than the dodge starting, because you do it. You do your stomp as soon as the dodge starts, and you're hoping he's going to be on the stomp at the end of his dodge when you can just wait for it to actually end up on top of you and put out the stomp. So you get punished for stomping early, and that should have been a Sarah, would have barely hit. And the nares are fine here. The thing, then this is it, uh, Sarah is coming out. You don't use enough nair at all. Uh, the nair is probably the best part about the kit. That's why when the nair doesn't hit grounded, I think like hammers usually god awful, right? Yeah. If the nair doesn't hit grounded, you really don't do anything with the weapon. Uh, and you're not using that. You've like barely gone for any in the both in both the games I watched, right? Nair is not really coming out, even in good stocks like this. Uh, it's mainly spear. You don't really do anything with the Nairs. Uh, and like, let's look at what a uh, good stock is here. Right? And this honestly is more of a bad stock from him because you still have those areas where you're just like slightly out of range and you're going for stuff like this. Because realistically, even this, uh, even this Sair, right, where he go, oh, it's right, right here. He goes for this. Even this Sair barely hits him. Uh, he has no jump. He's, he's turned around. If you pushed onto him in falling air, right it still hits yeah. better and then it forces them into a juggle the sair you hit and you get nothing out of it you have that stuff is important right every time you go for a hit you should be thinking about the next hit so you shouldn't just be thinking oh i'm gonna get this one hit and i'm gonna be good with it because it's, it's never that you never want one hit you want as many as you can get it seems like you're playing a lot of the times for the one hit and ha one hit on hammer is fine it's good but then you have to win neutral over and over again and that's not happening here either right yeah. So, 
uh, a lot of the stairs, like I said, are fine. Like, you have good dares like that. You have good moments like this. Like, this stop stair is good. But, uh, a lot of the dead time in between is full of whiffs and hitting area where no one is. Like, that narrow, too. No one's there. It's just like a turn around there. Even if for him to force his way all the way over there, like, like look at the timing for this. This comes out way earlier than he is anywhere. He's on the side of the map, right? What is, what is the nair for? Uh, that downside like I already talked to you about. That downside like I already talked to you about. What is it for? And that seems like the problem, right? That seems like uh, looking back at it, looking both games, you put out moves and they go answered, but it's like, uh, what what could I have done? Out? What else could I have done? Why am I putting out that move there, right? It doesn't really make sense for that move to be there. And you notice it when you look back because it's like, okay, uh, I shouldn't have put it out. I, it just wasn't Three, a good move. Two, one, brawl. But yeah, uh, a lot of the times you can just put out air and that would be even better. So you get the weapon first and that recovery was a good punish. Waking up with dare is really bad, uh, especially against sword. Uh, mainly because even though nothing really happens here, and some weapons can't deal with it, but some can, uh, I know, I'll tell you that you hitting one you getting hit like that and then doing a dare is just calling to get hit like three more times honestly uh and i'll tell you that it is because like i'll play against crocky and crocky plays spear even when he hits the dare when he goes for the second one you can just recover him out of it you can nair him out of it uh hammer does it sword does it uh, a lot of weapons with better nairs can beat up the, the dare spam that's two good job Let it beat out the cannon there. Okay, so that, like, another time right there where you could have narrowed better than Ser. You should only really use Ser to punish something happening. A lot of the times, if you're going to be moving in to people, Nair is just way safer for you. It's just a smarter option to put out for yourself and f over anything. Yeah, another Nair, same thing as last time. This time it's a Dare rather than the Sarah you usually do, but it still doesn't really make sense. Okay, so this stock kind of goes from fine to shaky around here. Uh, you get hit there and you're just kind of looking for a place to punish these moves. That punish wasn't good and then you dodged in and had to land, you punished it to landing. Right here, you dodge over him and barely get hit by this, so it's just stuff like that. Uh, you're just, you're looking for a way in, but yeah. you can just not, and as stupid as that sounds, it's like, okay, just don't cross him over, you, uh, just don't really do anything, and wait to see what happens, right? Don't really, f don't force it as hard as you're forcing it. As soon as you're out here, you try to go back in, it doesn't work, then you dodge for no reason, gets hit, uh, and this is for no reason, really, because... He can't really do anything here besides punish you for dodging in, right? So, uh, don't just don't dodge till something actually happens. Is the case most of the time. Now that you have no dodge and you go for a landing straight down, you punish punish for that. So that that is like just a fast played stock. Uh, that I won't look at that too much, but yeah, if you just slow it down rather than keep trying to find an opening, especially in a stock that you've been playing pretty well for the most part, it'll be better for you. It's not that bad because of where he's already gone to and you're able to clean up the stock pretty fast, so solid. Recovery's fine. Good side light and then yeah. Okay, so right there, uh snare. And the nah. reason yeah, the reason it's snare is because you're trying to cover this area. Not this. That that nair is bad. This these nairs are too high, uh, mainly because they you send them low and then you nair high when they've already like gone back low. Like he jumps, and then is obviously heading back down to touch the ground, and then you nair that. It just seems really, whatever. 
Uh, and that being said, at least this nair forces him to go to the ground. But then you just give him the room he needs, so it doesn't really matter that it did that, right? So, uh, a lot of hammer, like I said, if you saw the hammer guy, which probably did, is about forcing someone to do something and then punishing them for doing that thing. You force him to go down, so now actually punish him for where he is, right? Don't just, like, say, okay, you went down, good job, and he just stays there. Doesn't really make sense. This Sarah could have been an error, uh, and I say that because... It would you move into him anyway? Uh, he has to move into the air and dodge. If he dodges this uh, nair, you're on the ground rather than in the air, uh, and you can actually turn around and put a hit box out. Nair is almost always better than air for an option like this. I'm telling you when I say that the only time I ever use nair, I mean I ever use air, is to punish something. Okay. Uh, otherwise, I I really just don't use it, and I don't I don't think I have played Bold War in forever, so I don't really have any of my own replays, but we all, I obviously have like tournament footage that I'll just look at after this. But for the most part, you're not going to see me use Nair because, I mean, use Nair because I just don't use that move. That highlight was fine, could have been a bit faster. Uh, the reason I say it could have been faster is because you do it when he's already on the stage. You should have gone for the sidelight on that, or at least uh, before he even goes back for the landing. The reason why it's faster is because uh, it makes him... I'm not saying he would have gotten hit by it, but it would have given you way more time to actually do something, right? Uh, he would have dodged it, and then you would have actually been able to, because he wouldn't have been here, he wouldn't have been stacked onto you to end light, you would have been able to hit him again, or put out another hitbox. Hammers, ground and moves all come out instantly, so that's stuff you want. That's the reason why uh, you just use stuff to bait options, because they can actually punish a lot of the time. That dare should have been turned around, that way the hitbox is actually pointed at him. Yeah. I tried to look at this and there some shit. Yeah. That's one of the times I will say Sarah is good, and a lot of people use Sarah there when someone is going to jump after a punish, especially at the edge. Uh, but if you really are looking at it, this is the exact kind of thing I'm talking about with the Nair, because if you started your jump here and then fast fell, and get, go for the nair right here, it still hits, right? That's why I'm saying anytime you could Sarah, a lot of the times you can also nair. The here Sarah is just better because it will kill him or send him off, right? So you stick on to the spear. Okay, so uh, I didn't like any of this really, mainly because you get the weapon and then, again, a dead sidelight on nothing, right? Actually wait for him to land. He has to land and you know it. He has no dodge either. Actually wait for the landing. Don't punish because soon he will land. Punish when yeah. he lands, okay? Uh, after that, you whiff and then you just kind of dash on the platform. Not really smart. You shouldn't do that. And then he's just like barely clipping you, and it's really bad for you. And you jump instead of dodge. I recommend to always dodge for the most part. The nair is good, and the nair is good. You give up a lot of pressure, and what I mean by that is, let's look at this nair you hit. So you hit this nair, and then you back away from him so you can land for free, and then jump again, and then you nair again. Uh, you don't really need to do that. You can always be moving towards people. Because when they get hit, if they try to move back into you, you can punish them. So they have to move away. And that means they're giving up stage. So you take advantage of it and take the stage for yourself. They're solid. Stomp is good. You should. Uh, yeah, I in there. Yeah, uh, you should start turning these because this one also barely hits them. If you turned it, it would have just hit. Mm. Second, Sarah is fine. Honestly, it's too fast. 
you could just like s leveled with them on the ground, and then that's that's good. So this stock is even pretty fast, and then uh, for the most part, you kind of just take over it. it. Doesn't really give them any chance to do anything with it. Yeah. We already talked about how you could have sidelined there way faster to actually apply pressure. A lot of the and so over the three games, uh, what we're really looking at right is what 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 is being done wrong and what can be done better right. And for the most part, is uh, you're not really doing anything terrible and you're hitting the combos and uh, honestly, most of the hammer people, the people that play hammer that I coach, don't even fucking use stomp somehow. So I mean, for the most part. Uh, you're better than all of them, right? So, but what what is really missing? And what moves are you using that don't need to be used, right? So if we wanna look at something, uh, we'll just not use mine for once, so we'll use, we'll use Boomies, okay. Well, Kostelix is still in the so, match, man. Boom. this is Boomie on Yumiko, right? And, mm -hmm. He plays a lot of bow, but he also does try to pick up the hammer sometimes, and that's what we're really looking at, what we're really looking for. So he's going to open with hammer, and it's fine. I just forward it a bit. Okay. And you can already see, as soon as the game starts, you don't really ever go for Sarah. The most part is like you're putting out hitboxes. Oops. You put out <laughs> hitboxes. I thought it was a Brawlhalla fucking replay. You put out hitboxes at places where uh, people will mm, probably be or you want them to not be there, right? Because the hitboxes are still big. The sidelight is fine because it's not going to get punished. And then for the most part, he puts out a bunch of hitboxes, not gonna get punished, and dares and dares, right? You don't for you don't see one Sarah come out because that move is actually not that good. It just isn't. Uh, it's probably the worst move on the kick, even though it's still good. That just shows you how good the rest of the kick is, right? Um, yeah. For the most part, any good hammer player besides like little captain, some points will not put out any Sarahs. Just instantly stomp to stop him from going from the weapon because even if he goes past you. You can actually put out side light on the weapon to hit him. Uh, that's just how fast your Garner kit is. Yeah, every like uh, for example that weapon right there. Uh, looking at the way you were playing, you probably would have sared it. You don't need to. Uh, the nair does exactly what you want the sare to do, except it does it better. And then he gets fucked for a bit because he just can't play it like I can. That's understandable. Hold up. Yeah. Uh, so it's not going as insane as he'd want it to be, but it's still the same principle where it's like, okay, uh, I'm putting out the hits and I'm putting out the right moves at least, because Sarah would have, in every case, been worse. Sorry, my mom came in. You're good. Alright. Uh, so, I want to look more at game 2, too, because he plays Hammer a lot more in it. Alright. Uh, and this is a pretty good example of someone putting out a move that doesn't really matter just because they'll be able to cover it after that GC stomp. Uh, yeah, like a lot of moves are like that, where it's like, okay, you did something and they have to react to it now, but they actually can't, so you punish them for trying to, right? Right. And that that is what I'm talking about, where I say, okay, you could have actually sidelighted earlier, and I'm not saying that that sidelight would have hit, but his reaction to that sidelight would have been punished. Uh, whether it's he's going to dodge earlier or whatever he's going to do, you can punish it after. That's the stuff that matters. Again, those are the times you use Sarah, and even in that scenario in specific, he could have probably used Nair. Uh, Sarah is better because it sends off stage. You just have to understand when uh, you when you have both, one of them is actually going to send off stage, and that's when it's better. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, I remember this. Siege 76. Okay. Actually, a bow one trick. Kind of disgusting. <laughs> yeah, for the most part, you're not going to see nares come out. You just put pressure on where the things are going to be. Yeah, like for a lot of, and you can just like see what I'm talking about where it's like, okay, you put out moves, but they don't actually matter because of how fast you can put out the next move, right? And yeah, it's supposed to be a heavy weapon, but that's not really what it does. You're able to just frankly put out as many moves as you want, uh, back to back, and nothing's ever going to stop it. That Sarah could have probably been in there and he wouldn't have died, honestly. But for the most part, uh, what you want to look at and look for is side light and down light and how you can fit those things into the ground. Uh, Nair is your like best aerial move, but you honestly won't even want to jump that much. Like if I have to, if I can, I can go look at other f hammer players too. Like this is, I can get, I'm just gonna pause the wrench and you can look at that and what hammer looks like on the ground for the most part. Because when you look at hammer on the ground, it looks a lot different. Did Bogey play hammer this way? Yeah. Oh, you did throw it? There was a different one, which I liked better. Because he just opens with Thor. this one okay uh yeah so for the most part uh and i'll look at this game specifically that guy is washed no wonder <laughs> person he's wrenched I mean, he already has a pretty big lead and doesn't care about that weapon. Everyone's for fun, apparently. I'm pretty sure it was this stock. So, he already has a pretty big lead, which is fine, but you can still see that the nares are what comes out for the most part, right? And you get stuff like that when you have no read on a nair. I mean, no dodge on a nair. When you have no dodge on a ser, you don't really get anything out of it, and you can really see that uh, it's nair. Like right there, that was Nair too. He's just always going to be going for Nair over everything because you don't really care about what Sarah can do because Sarah's just not valuable. It does the same mm -hmm. damage as Nair except for no follow up because they're going to be across the map rather than above you. And people being above you in Brawler is really good because for the most part, that's how you set up your juggles and stuff. So you're going to see that most people that play Hammer, besides specific wake ups like that, are going for Nair for the most part in the game. Mm -hmm. Uh, pretty sure he dies here like instantly and they go back to the same map and this game is pretty good too. The side lights and that's how you use them. Yeah, uh, even that Sarah right there was kind of bad and you can see he got punished for it. There's no reason to ever really put out Sarah like that. Yeah, I want to. A lot of the game on Hammer will happen on the ground rather than in the air. You don't really need to jump, and when you are jumping, you are going for an air, so you're going to jump to position to fast fall into it rather than do anything else. It just covers so much space, and it's just way safer than doing Sarah. Sarah leaves you way too open and commits a lot more frames. 
So same thing here. Uh, he gets... He hits the Sarah and immediately goes for an air. And you can see how much damage you actually get out of side light. He's just gonna keep going for an airs and stuff like that. Nair. Oh. Yeah. This is crazy. Silent thing, by the way. Yeah, it's hammer. Yeah, you really like that. That one, he can't get Nair just because of where he is and how many jumps he has left. You can't position for it. So he actually just takes the Sair, but you can see that almost every other time, he'd rather have a Nair than Sair. Uh, if he is wasted too many jumps, he has to use the Sair, just because he can't land with it. Like there again, he was not in position for a Nair. And to get into position for an Nair, you'd have to jump again. doesn't have any, so he goes for a Sair. It makes sense when to use Sair, and uh, the better you get, the more you'll be able to see that, oh, this should have been a Sair rather than a Nair. And that's fine. If you can't put something out, then you don't force it. You can't do that to yourself. But for the All most right. part, uh, Nair is way better for you and uh, just a smarter option in general than putting out uh, Sairs because it's just a lot of times they just don't hit. And it's easier for me to tell you what I'm thinking. So we'll look at uh, me versus Blazy, but only game one because I lose the set. And we'll look at me versus Blazy for the one game before we just call it. So, like I said, pick up the hammer, and you don't really see anything come out on the air. Just mainly ground stuff. Even the wake-ups are supposed to be the ground moves. Nair. And then, yeah, it's the same stuff you've already seen from the other people. You put out moves just because they need to have some pressure on them. You're never really going to see me go for Sarah either. Mainly because that move is not the best. Satellites are always good. And yeah. I had to go for that more. I agree with the Russian Mafias. Don't get it nerfed, man. Come on. <laughs> I don't know what that weapon throw was, but you can see for the most part, uh, anyone that's not spamming their jump you just keep side lighting. And even if they are spamming their jump, that's not good because then you can actually jump near them rather than uh, do it on the ground for the most part. And that's just the thing. Uh, Hammer is very good at dealing with multiple different things. Like uh, whether you're going to stay on the ground or jump, it doesn't really matter because they have answers to both of them. If you're going to be on the ground, they're going. To, you're going to get side lighted. You're going to get forced off stage by the side lights and the big weapon throw hitbox. And if you're not, like right there, I can. I there's no way for me to near that mainly because. Uh, if I wanted to actually get that punish off, I had to go for the Sarah. And that's that's when you Sarah, when you can Nair. And that's really the only time you want to Sarah, other than to get a kill. Play higher decks hammer, so there are more combos, but you don't really care about them, honestly. As you can see, I outclassed him with the weapon spawns, so he will get no weapon. <laughs> and then I rush him off here again. Mm -hmm. To assert dominance after the weapon spawns. And for a spear, uh, I can already show you that, honestly, uh, you don't ser you ser on this weapon a lot more, but you don't actually need to either. And this is a game where I'm pretty far behind. And I'm also lagging, but whatever. Well, I literally just recorded this video before I did this because I wanted to play Ada. But yeah, you can see for the most part, I go for these over anything. 
uh, you can get the stuff where you need it, but you don't really see me ever look for a Sarah. Mainly because any move where there is a gap in your hitbox is not the best. And right. that's not to say that moves are... There are moves that aren't good. Like, Spear Sarah is still super good. Hammer Sarah is super good, right? But for the most part, why would you use it when there is a move that covers completely everything and keeps you safe at the same time, right? Yeah. You leave, I look for the punishes where I have them, and then I go for moves like that. Uh, that sideline thing, that's what I was talking to you earlier. You, you hit a sideline, someone went up, and I said, okay, if you actually want to do something, you could have, that's it. I saw he was going to go up, and I recovered him. You're able to react to stuff like that. You can see the instant jump dares, and if you feel like the reason you can't do a lot of this stuff is because you're off controller, I tell you you're wrong because Ethan can do all of it, but also if you feel your controls are limiting you, you should probably switch controls then, right? So, uh, same thing I think in one of these games, I think it's this one where it's just like, okay, what is really the play, right? You need to go for the downlights above you, obviously you're smart enough to know that, and you were going for a bunch of downlights, so... The thing is the moves you use in between. The nares are not there. Uh, a lot of the side lights are slightly off or miss space. Same with the end lights, they're not there enough, right? If you can get all of that down, what are you really missing, right? Because yeah. when we looked at it, when we looked at all three of the replays, the only things we saw were, okay, is he picking the best move for this situation? Sometimes yes, sometimes no, that matters. That's the difference. And uh, is he, is he able to punish the reactions is he getting his reactions off and that was really it right you were missing some hits here and there and then some of your reactions were slightly off that's basically it you just need to work on those things uh being able to land the better moves and know which moves are actually important or of value to you that stuff is important you can't really throw out these stairs that mean nothing and you can't really have so much dead time between your play it feels like okay. a lot of the time you're kind of just like letting someone or you're trying to see what's going to happen rather than making something happen uh you could see when i played hammer that or when blooming plays hammer uh that there is really no time to wait for it to see what someone's going to do you do what needs to be done even if you have to weapon throw it to get an end light off you're going to do it you go in and you if someone's going to try playing slow you force them off the map because you you're just better than them there's times where it's like okay now you see that you're getting punished for it and you slow it down but a lot of these aren't the these aren't the people that are doing that to you right you don't care about it. you can you can apply pressure to these people and that is what hammer is hammer is about applying pressure if you're not able to do that then you really are wasting time on the weapon you cannot you're not getting the value off the weapon uh right. people have to be scared of getting hit by you your weapon your and you have to be able to hit them you can't just uh feign whiffs over and over again and then go ahead and say, okay, that's fine. It's not going to work, right? You actually have to be able to put the hits through. Uh, for the most part, like I said, you have good points where you put out really good dares and really nice downlights are coming out for you. So all you have to do is input these current, current small things, right? Like a Sarah, an air instead of a Sarah on both weapons, and you'll be good. How to follow up the side lights and where, and you'll be good. That's really it, right? So unless you have anything to ask me. Um... No, not really. So I just, just I suggest Nair more to the staring. Yeah, that'd be one thing that'd be good for you. Mm -hmm. And then following up on Spear Sidelight, because you can react to the dodge that they do after it. Uh, like you saw when he dodged for me, I did. I instantly jumped recovery to him. And uh, there was a time I pointed out to you that you could have done it earlier. I think it was in like game two. You sidelight someone and then just stood still, right? Uh, it doesn't really make sense. Uh, oh, yeah use spear and air more it's just safer and a lot of the times you just do get it for free like i don't know i can go back to this game and show you how often i just go for that move because that move is just really good and you can see hardy goes for the same stuff on hammer uh too where it's just like for the most part you're looking for uh nair unless you're not and then the only reason you should not be is because sarah's going to send them off stage or you just can't do the nair uh this was well, I just know how to use six. Yeah, just move placement is really important, and that's what is the main focus for you. I feel like, I, I, like for right now, the most important thing for you should be working on picking out moves like that. Like, uh, being able to do a nair there is what will save you a lot of the times. You can't just put out Sarah in every single situation. Alright.
Another thing you could look at is respecting other weapons, but I feel like you did that pretty fine. Uh, the game against Kui specifically, even though he was putting out a bunch of moves. And yeah, there were some points where you could have punished and you didn't. You did a pretty okay job of just looking for your window to punish. That stuff is important and you did fine with it that game, right? The last talk was just like bad in general from start to finish, but uh, there's always room for stuff like that to be fixed. So it's not the end of the world. But yeah, uh, I'm going to end the YouTube video there. And then, like I said, if you 